Paul, thank you. Paul has a $100 question. Uh, on the topic, thanks for bringing this up because I was going to, but since you asked the question, it's easier to do from the perspective of the question. Can you explain what exactly the Ninth Amendment is being ignored, that the Ninth Amendment is being ignored by Alito and the conservative cabal in their opinion? Yes. I mean, the Ninth Amendment basically says that the rights enumerated in the Bill of Rights are not all our rights, that we have rights that are not enumerated because you can't just enumerate all the things that you have a right to, and that these are just indications. Now, Alito doesn't completely ignore this, but he has this weird view of what the enumerated rights the, the unenumerated rights should be. All, or not should be, all. They have to be, um, have been recognized at the time of the writing of the Constitution as rights. They have to have historical precedent. They have to be something that historically was protected in the United States. Then they're rights. So notice, there's no philosophical view of what human individual rights are. There's no view of these are the kind of things that constitutes individual rights. This is what you have a right to in principle. This is what should guide us, a definition of rights. No. Huh. I wonder what people in the 18th century, early 19th century, thought was OK. Oh, we can't include slavery in that because we've got a 14th Amendment that does away with that. But pretty much everything else, what was OK back then? And, and if, if they viewed it is okay back then, then we should count it as, you know, it has to have a history. Why? So there weren't a lot of abortions in the 18th and 19th century, early 20th century, not a lot of abortions, there were abortions. And, and abortion wasn't considered something that was okay. Oh, well, partially because it was pretty brutal, unsafe, unbelievably risky, didn't have the technology. So yeah, it wasn't that prevalent. Plus, we lived in a society that was far more religious. So we can't take into account any changes that have happened since then. The fact that it was, wasn't legal back then and it is legal now. The fact that it's safer now. It's easier to do now. You can take a pill. That is irrelevant to the discussion. It, it really is a, a kind of, a, a kind of anti-intellectualism. Yes, anti-intellectualism. There's no principle of rights. There's no idea of rights from which I can then think of and then apply a, 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 what this principle actually means. No. I have to digest the text and, and figure out from the text what it actually means. And if the text is not clear because the Constitution doesn't mention abortion, ultimately, talk about concrete bound mentality. If the Constitution doesn't mention abortion, well, then it's not covered. Well, OK, so we won't just use mentioning abortion. We'll also ask the question, because there's a Ninth Amendment after all, is there some other context in which the founders might have thought that abortion would be legal? No, OK, well. Thank you, Wanda Freeman. Yes, they treat the Constitution like the Bible. They treat the, 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 the founding fathers as sages or as prophets. They try to read their mind like they try to read God's mind. There's no application of the idea of individual rights to all these issues. Some of these issues are new because things change. It's, I mean, the right today and, and, and I think this, this uh, shows it. The right today is so anti-intellectual. So anti-intellectual. And you can see it here. You can see it on, sorry if I'm going to pick on some of you and, 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 and uh, uh, get angry with you, but so be it. Uh, somebody says the, 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 the vagina is magical portal into individuality. God. I mean, if you, don't, if you can't see the difference between an entity that is individuated and an entity that's inside another entity, I mean, I have nothing to say to you. There's a difference. And of course, Roe versus Wade is not about abortions five minutes before 
before birth. Those never happen. And if you think that the cells from conception are human being, I mean, that's anti-intellectual. That's non-thinking. It's not even bad thinking. It's just non-thinking. And I'm sorry if I've insulted a bunch of you. I don't really care. Think. Look. Use your mind. So what you need to know to understand the Ninth Amendment is a proper conception of individual rights and a proper conception of what they are protecting. They're protecting the freedom of action of an individual. The freedom over his body, the freedom of his actions, the freedom over his mind. And then the question is, okay, well, what does that imply about all these things that human beings do? And it means that you have a right, you have a right to live, you have a right to, 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 to act. You have a right to act based on your own judgment, free of coercion, free of authority, free of force, and that encompasses all your actions. It doesn't stop somewhere because somebody's offended by it. As long as you're not hurting other people, as long as you're not violating other people's rights by coercing them or by using force against them, by stealing from them, by violating their property rights or whatever. And you have a right to do pretty much anything. It doesn't mean that's what rights are there for. But you have a right to take drugs, yeah. And this is what they're afraid of. You see, this is why they can't protect individual rights. This is why they won't protect individual rights. This is why they won't recognize what the Ninth Amendment actually means. Because if they recognize that you have a right to your own decisions and your own actions, even when other people disagree with them, even when they might be harmful to yourself. Whoa, that opens up a can of worms for the conservatives. A whole can of worms for the conservatives. Oh, what about drugs? What about prostitution? What about suicide? What about a lot of things? What about contracts? What about minimum, you know, wanting to pay your workers less than a minimum wage? What about any of these things? Right. So it's, it's, uh, they're purposefully ignoring the Ninth Amendment. They're purposefully ignoring the concept of rights. I, I think I've told you in the past, um, uh, Scalia, who is somebody who is considered you know, the guru of the conservatives, right, uh, said that rights are nonsense on stilts you know, basically quoting Bentham. He didn't believe in individual rights. He believed in the Constitution as the Bible, but not in individual rights. So, you know, individual rights are dead in this country. The, the concept, the, the legal protection, the legal idea of them, it, it, it's gone, it's over, it's finished. We're gonna to have to start, in many respects, we're gonna to have to start from scratch, from scratch. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening, you get value from watching, Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.